I only needed to watch five seconds of that record that video to understand what's wrong. He hasn't even mentioned how they work, and I can see he's got mob essence flowing into them. And I've got some on me. That's oddly convenient. Okay, so I'm gonna put you back there. Hopefully I can train without the need of a pipe. And I'll put you in there with protection and where's the wrench out there? Okay, so it's working now. Oh, okay, so we can enchant the resonant e energy pack and yeah, well, it's got no durability, so why not put fawns on there? That's a genius idea. But it's only fawns too, so I'm gonna wait till I get fawns free before I put that on. So fawns, protection, last stand. Oh, I'm not even sure if last stand two is the highest one. There's also flim flam, but I don't know whether that's multiplayer. Yes, protection four. Okay, so what happens if I try it? Yes, it keeps it. Good. So. Now I have an enchanted jetpack. Ah, I'm surprised because Epo is a thought of this, and he he's the main person who wears the resonant end of jetpack, and his is unenchanted. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go look at the wikis and see what levels, what stuff can go on the chest piece, and try and also get a um, fawns free. So I will be back when I'm done with that. I'm just thinking, I can use that auto enchanter to enchant books. I've got to catch one of those book guys from the castle and then farm it, farm the books, and then put the books into the auto enchanter. I'm not even looking at the auto enchanter, it's right here. Feed it with mob essence. Put it here. Yeah. Okay, so I know exactly what I'm going to be doing, and I will be back in a bit when I'm done with that. Okay, so I did a bit of search. Frugal was apparently a a formcraft enchantment which works similar to Unbreaking, that's all it says in this wiki I was looking at. And Last Stand 2 is actually the maximum tier, so I added it to here. And Flim Flam seems, from what I understand, I could be wrong, but it looks like it's just a multiplayer thing, so it's kind of useless here. And also on my, on my pants, I got Unstable 2, which goes to a maximum of 3. And I'm probably not going to use it, because what happens is, if you fall for more than 3 blocks while holding gunpowder, you make an explosion. If mo if you're attacked, I don't think it's specified whether it was players or you, but if you're attacked, then you will, hmm, you will explode apparently. I don't understand how that works. Like, do you get hurt explode, or what? Oh yeah, let's test it out. Okay. Oh yeah, you're weak. Go home, buddy. <laughs> I'm too strong for you now. Yep, yeah, there's one of the druids. And those are called Mr. Wall, apparently. And they can bite me through here, which is weird. So, I brought this with me. That's... That was a bad mistake. So, I think maybe we'll make an auto and shiny room. So there's the the uh, one one up, but I'm not going to be using that. I'm not going to be making one in between. And as you can see, I put the beam right in the middle. Um, maybe, maybe I will make a new thing in me, a new elevator block. But I already have one. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's go get the previous one I've got upstairs. 
I believe it's in this chest. Yep. I made two at one point. So, let's go downstairs. Wrong one. And we go down, down, down. Prices are going down. Australians will understand. And these are roots. Like, some of the green effective roots were the things I was talking about. So, my Thor's hammer. Yeah. Okay. So, ooh, Ferrostor, that's nice. You know, I'm actually curious, like, what it's like. Apparently this place has got more ores, and the sea level is actually lower in this place than it is in the overworld. So sea level is at, like, 40-something, I don't know. So it's pretty cool, like that. And I'm just going to put you there. Uh, do we have... yes. Cool. So we're going to want... One of you, one of you, and I think we're going to be making two of these, because I can't be bothered. Oh, yeah, I know what I did wrong. We've got to turn you into wool first. There we go. So these power cables and mob essence cables are going to have to, cut, um, have to move a long way to get to this, but... Oh well, it's just my inefficiency. That's the problem here. So right now we're on... Yeah, that one on the right, I don't trust it, so... Right now we're on this. Uh-huh. Okay. So we got redstone ore. Nice. I actually wanted this stuff. So we're gonna go that. Oh, lead. I actually need you. I'm got virtually no lead right now. So this stuff is treasure. It's like the diamonds. I don't even use diamonds that often, except for today. Today's an exception to everything. <laughs> Today is the exception to everything. So, your silver. And Now's the time when the shovel goes into use. So it's actually not a bad shovel. I'm not sure about durability. I haven't checked a wiki for it. It's not something I care about checking a wiki for. Okay, so... Is this a flat bedrock? It looks like it's a flat bedrock. Okay, so... I'm gonna... Yeah, my... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you don't get a say in this. I'm choosing this. We're going mining right now. So I'm going to take off F3. And we'll see what we get. <laughs> see? See? What did I tell you? This is this is good. The Twilight Forest is the place where you want to mine. Like, yeah, you, you do lose some diamonds coming in here. But you're going to make them up pretty quick if you go mining. So we just get rid of that. And also the flint there. That's not helping. And then we silk touch this for later. Only two, but eh, you only you use two, you use one diamond to get in here. You could get potentially eight. You could potentially get eight diamonds from that, so it is pretty good. I'm just going to put away these ender pools because they are not necessary. Nah, I keep getting left and right click wrong with that. Okay. What? I know you're ender pearls and you're supposed to teleport around and stuff, but that's not how you teleport. Okay, stay. Good. Did I have a second one? Yeah. Why not use it over here? Yeah, that's a genius idea. Okay. So we get out Force Hammer. See, more ore. This place is just squirming of stuff. It's brilliant. I don't know why. Everyone, even on the crackpack server, you never see anyone mining in the twilight. I don't get it. Is it because this place is too OP or something? Because it's fun. And I'm not even sure, like with other mods, if there's more enchantments, because I really want to get 
like a maxed enchanted item in this. I mean, there will be uh, fawns which I still need to get. Um, I think fawns too, but there enchanting is one of my favorite things in vanilla Minecraft, and this even more, other than the fact that it is a bit faster. That's a bit of a downer, but sometimes it feels better if you if you do something yourself and it takes a long time to get. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Wait, why am I even... Mobs don't spawn on bedrock. What am I even thinking? <laughs> yeah, it still doesn't make sense why it's a four deep bedrock. Yeah, no sense. Oh well. And we're gonna have to loot some of you. Cool. And the Osnia more. Cool. Okay, so this could get a bit boring. I I think I can sense that. So I'm probably just gonna do a cut here and I'll be back sometime later. Yeah, this is the stuff I was talking to about. <laughs> I only just take dug one wall, but yeah. You harvest this and you get the liver root. Yeah, that's what it's called, and it was called liver What was it called before? Was it called liver root? Because it is a root. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, that doesn't What is it called? So you got liver Liver roots and liver root. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I don't even know why I'm harvesting the iron because I've just got theoretically infinite iron. Well, practically infinite iron. Mine? Mine! They're coming back. They got a new thing this year. 2014. That's the end of the end of world. It's it's official now because I said mines instead of iron, so it has to be. I mean, logic. It. Ever, you should know. I mean, logic is simple. Does it, am I the only sane person here? Really? <laughs> silly minds. Uh, well, silly interpreters. It's their fault. I'm still yet to look up how to kill the Lich King. Still don't have any idea how to do that. Okay, so... There it is. Now, how were they spawning? So that's a zombie spawner. Hmm. There's another zombie spawner. Yeah, where were these books coming from? I wish I took more notice. And also, I think I saw some. I think I heard something break when I was fighting these guys last time. Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay, so I got what I came for. Now let's see if we can show these guys a lesson. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, I think Last Stand saved me there. Okay, so I can't remember where I covered this or not, but Last Stand pretty much what it does is if you're about to die, instead of dying, it takes away levels from you. <laughs> I could have died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I had levels, so it saved me, fortunately. I'm pretty sure all the levels were actually saving me because I don't think I had 10 levels. Oh. See, that is why. That is why you should enchant your jetpack, Evo. Evo? <laughs> He's probably not even watching, but if you watch Evo, tell him to enchant his jetpack because it could save his life. Especially from someone like Anderps. But then again, he killed Anderps, so. What am I even saying? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny if someone tries uh, YouTube searching and derps. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's open this up. 
Now, I don't know whether these guys are like Death Tome. I'm not sure whether they're like blazes, as in they can fly, but they sink. Okay, so you have the same sort of look. I guess one with a unregistered one just look different. So... Aha! Uh -huh. It does work. So, I think I kept them in here. Yeah. Okay, so I've also done the wiring for that part. It's very, very messy. So, it's not very nice to show, but I will show most of it nonetheless. My crafting table is now over here. And... I'm going to need to get some sticks. Yep, <laughs> you saw it. Ah, I can't hide anything. That looks like a fishing rod. Okay, so there's too much on me. I know, I'll just use this crafting table over here instead. And bring it, bring down the stuff over here. These are carpetous blocks, which I'm just going to use for whatevs. Okay. And I'm just going to store you all in there. So yeah, that's everything. Let's see how our book status is going. So, magic map focus. Uh huh. What do you use those for? I know about the map fo focuses, which I'm actually interested in those ones. But magic map focuses. Magic map. Blank magic map. Magic map frame. So you combine a raven's feather with these stuff and you get. I've seen ravens, so. Yeah, but what do you do with this? Surround it paper and you get the blank magic map. These are exactly the same. And so then, what do you do with this? That gets turned into that. And I think this is unrelated. Okay. Well then. Hmm. Oh, you're there. Hello. Yeah. So we got a lot of written books as well. That's something I didn't know. Let's just shut you down before you go too much. Something I noticed with the zombie pigmen, they all drop in gold swords, and if this gets clogged, then the whole grinder will stop. So you gotta be careful of that. So, I'll put you away. Um, I've gotta see if there's a crafting recipe for them, which I can use them for. So, the power's running through the ceiling, and it goes all the way. Wow, that's dark. It goes all the way over there. And I'm just going to put a light source here because it's way too dark. Okay. So, yep, yeah, you're there. And good. And the fluid duct is going under, under here and underneath. So, it is now working and we'll see what we're going to get. I think we're going to have enough power. I'm... Yeah, check the power source and see how it copes with using this thing. See how exhausting it is on it. So, it's barely increasing. So that's interesting. Okay, I will guess I'll do some enchanting and see what I get. And then come back to you in a bit. Probably never going to use that. How could I have not have seen this one coming? You know, I'm confusing myself right now. I have an auto enchanter, enchanting books, and I'm manually inserting them and taking them out. Why? Why can't I just use an enchanting table and enchant it myself? This is so pointless. 
Why am I even doing this? Oh yeah, it's giving me two on breaking freeze, which is... Feels like it's starting to troll me now. I don't know. Now, I know I said I wasn't interested in witchery that much, but when I typed in books, I saw these ones, and I decided to check them out. I mean, this one's computer craft, but this one's witchery, and it said Book of Biomes, which made me think of something. I don't, um, I don't completely know how to use it. I believe I've seen this used, but you can change biomes with this book. This is, <laughs> yeah, probably my favorite thing in Witchery, the only thing I like. But Ruby Slippers are cool, but yeah, some it's cool, but overpowered and complicated. So understanding the biomes of the world, of the world, <laughs> I said that weirdly, is the first step to changing them. In these pages can be found the foci items and glowstone dust const cost <laughs> of each biome needed for the right of shifting seasons. Okay. So you've got a whole bunch of biomes in here. Thirty nine pages. Uh, so you got different foci. Uh huh. Okay, so I'll keep that for later. I don't know, might use it eventually. Efficiency 4. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> let this slow, slow thing do its job, I guess. Yeah. I'm an idiot. So, I'm actually curious now what else does Mine Factory have if it's got all these cool stuff. So. Uh, I can't even hop down there, which is weird. I mean, I mean, it's only like half. I should be able to fit between there, wouldn't you think? Maybe. I don't even know why I ran around. So let's look at mine factory. Mine factory. Okay. So we got the planter. We got the fisher. Oh yeah, that catches fish for you. We've got a harvester, a rancher, opaque, yeah, I can do opaque, no idea what that does, fertilizer, veterinary, yikes, <laughs> that doesn't look nice, item collector, hmm, that could be interesting, a block breaker, wonder how that would work. Weather collector, sludge boiler, I've heard of that, I don't know how what it does though. Sewer that converts um it converts XP into uh whatchamacallit mob essence Composter Breeder Grinder Auto Enchanter Chronotyper Okay, and I'm wondering what kind of power sources this has. Ejector, item router, liquid router, deep storage unit. I'm going to have to think about these deep storage units, they sound good. Liquid crafter. What? I searched that earlier and liquid crafter did not come up. I am positive it didn't come up. When I typed in liquid crafter earlier, because I wanted to do, I wanted to automate some crafting, and that's one way you can do it. Uh, what? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, and you die. Your ride is dead. Wonder what happened to him. Do you become a trader? Hmm. So, I highly doubt, but I'm wondering if you can put enchantments on your weapons. If so... <laughs> Imagine sharpness on an already overpowered damage value. Oh man. That would be deadly. That would truly be deadly. So, 
I'm going to try put efficiency on the lumber axe. Just because in case I can't fix it or something. If I can't repair it. I'll use you as a test subject. Did I... I took the ornament ever with me. What am I thinking? Okay, so... Sorry, got my best sense in it. And we'll put in the lumber axe. And we'll put in efficiency. And it's already got mob essence in it, so yeah, you can't do this by the looks of it, which is fair, fair enough. Whereas this will actually do the job, and it took away some mob essence, so yeah, nice to know. Nice to know. Ah, oh, but a liquid crafter, man, I was wondering about that for so long. Not really, just a day, and I'll put you in here. I probably could have just searched a wiki instead of making this book, but it was rather cheap anyway. Uh, I'll take you with me. Yeah, but you're the only one. Yeah, I'll leave you. This is fun. Oh, he's got my hat. You're a legend. Okay. Becoming a better pilot. Wait, my. What? I dropped the axe. I dropped the lumber axe. That's where it has been. I've been barely been in this area. <laughs> I thought I lost that thing, but I must have not. I must have not picked it up when I died over there. I think I died there at some point. Wow. The more you learn. Wow. So, our enchantments are I'm breaking free, I'm breaking free, shutdown's free, power free, act with anyone, I'm breaking free, protection 4, that was a nice one, potency 2, which is a wand enchantment from um, Warcraft, power free, I'm breaking free, knockback 2, virus back 2, efficiency 4, Efficiency 4, and haste free I brought from back home. Yes, I was going to call it uh, something else, but I don't know. Something I thought about. This can only be used on, like, boots and, what does it say? The formatic, uh, formostatic harness. Yeah, boots and formostatic harness. Can you put enchantments on this? That is the question. So, first of all, you want to put protection if you can. And we can. <laughs> and so, I'm pretty much going to put protection, fawns, and haste on this. Because Feather Falling, unless this runs out of power, Feather Falling has no practical point in being there. And I don't think. Well. Yeah. I don't think they give much protection anyway, so it, I think it's just pretty much when you put a punker on your head, it gives you no protection. It's just it just looks pretty. That's all. So I think uh, this protection will actually give it some armor value. So let's see what we get. <laughs> and it actually does have a render on your body. You just can't see it normally. Okay, so it doesn't even glow. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping it would. And we could put haste on it. So haste makes you run faster. It goes to a maximum tier of three. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. And as you can see, I've been looking at this. That, that interests me. I need to make a spyglass. Yeah, this is a weird thing. This rotates and it's all kind of sticks. And then there's a iron helmet that pops up here every now and then. You saw a split second. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> What's with that? Uh, so you need to make a needle gun. You need to use a safari net launcher. So I'm going to make a second one. Okay. So this is how fast I run normally. 
this is how fast I'm running with the boots on. Okay. So it takes one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So about three seconds. This takes one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah, probably about two and a half seconds. So there is a increase in speed of this, which is pretty cool. Uh, is there anything left in here? Fire protection free, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going for time, so I'll check that now.